2005 Screaming OB rod. I'm having a little problem with the stator wire leaking. I guess it's a common issue on V rods. Um, did a lot of research online on how to fix this, but I could not find any videos of it. So I'm going to try to upload my own video here. Uh, after reading many blogs on how to do it, um, I'm pretty confident I can do it. So I'm going to give it a try. Try to go step by step. Um, the first thing I did was <clears throat> trace this wire up behind this panel here. Plugs in uh, right there. And this side cover here just comes off. There's a little screw down here. Head screw right there. Take it out and pull this thing back. And you've got a clip that you have to undo right there. The wire was stuck in there, you pull it out. So that's the first thing I'm going to do because I want to take this whole thing apart and it's leaking right out of there, right at the bottom. First step I did was that. I drained the oil because, uh, my luck, I just changed oil two weeks ago, so um, I'm going to reuse it. And since we're on the subject, any of you guys that change your own oil, uh, get this KN filter, oil filter, where it's got the nut already on it. Badass. Uh, 17 millimeters, same as your drain plug. It's so easy to put on and take off. You can see the nut right there on the end of it. So, uh, very, very highly recommend that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, like I said, the first thing I did was I took this wire off, unhooked it from the clamp, and then uh, drained the oil. And then I'm going to pull the master plug, which I'll get here in a little bit. And then I'm going to start taking all these bolts off. I was able to find this sheet outline. It's got the bolt pattern and the torque specification. And uh, as you can see, there's one, and then you come across over to two, back to three, back to four, back to five, and so on. But when I take it off, I'm going to reverse that. <clears throat> so uh, looks like I'll be starting with 14. Taking off 13, 12, 11, and so on. So, uh, so that kind of a good idea to, uh, if you guys are doing this to get this sheet. It's pretty much came out of manual. I'm sure you can find it online the way I did. So, anyways, this is the first steps I've done. And uh, I'm on to step two. All right, so the next step, I'm on the right side of the bike. I've got the access panel here and I've taken it off and here is the main fuse. I'm going to pull that before I start messing with anything else. This one comes right out. So this goes in there. So on 05 model, it's on this side. I'm pretty sure it's on this side of the bike on every model. But uh, you might want to check your manual just to be safe. So alright, now to the next step. All right, back at it. Got the cover off. And one thing I want to mention is I had to remove the linkage. It was pretty close. I don't want it rubbing up against the uh, cover. So I just went ahead and took this little bolt off back here. Uh, get it out of the way. So it wasn't too bad. Taking it off. Uh, there was a gasket. From what everybody says online, you can reuse it cleaned it up. So there's the gasket. I got it all cleaned up. Ready to go back in. Okay. And here is the cover. So I used uh, some brake cleaner. Cleaned it off real good. And here is the grommet that's causing all the problems. Right here. I was able to push 
this it was seated all the way through but I was able to push it push it that way all the way back into here that way when I pull the pins I'll be able to get all the grommets on it or the o-rings on it that I need to do so just give it a little force push it inside and as you can see it'll uh, push right in now here is the problem as you can see there's three grooves right there and I guess in 2010 they updated it and they added some o-rings to it and here's a picture that I got on my phone here of the update so you can see where the arrows are pointing that there's three little o-rings that they added and so that's what I'm going to attempt to do um, so it said that they updated in 2010 so I'm guessing anything above that or earlier than that doesn't have these rings so that's what I'm going to attempt to do and to do that you have to unpin this connector and uh, what I did is I labeled each one with dots because I want to make sure I get them in there the right way they're pretty easy to take out I left one in there to show you. you just go on top there that little groove I have a snap-on set here that, uh, for taking these little connectors off and everything I just use a little flat pin I don't really think it's necessary you can probably get a small flathead screwdriver in there and you just uh, stick it in the top right there and push down on it and pull out the back and it'll come right out this thing was on there also holding all the wires in just take that off by pushing on the side these two little tabs on the side here push them in and pop right off so I'm gonna pull that off pull this wire through the hole slide these o-rings on it try to find the right one so maybe I can tell you guys what size I'm gonna use uh, after that I'm gonna put a little bit of this ultra black on there and uh, push the ground back in let it seat probably give it a couple days let it dry and then um, hopefully that works okay back at it now I was able to get the three o-rings on there you can see they're all seated right in the grooves probably took about 15 20 minutes um, it wasn't too bad I thought it was gonna be a lot worse they stretch pretty good I left the cover on here on the wires the hardest part was getting over this lip right here, but I used uh, two little screwdrivers and one of them I got <clears throat> has a, uh, a little hook on the end of it, so you know, just a regular flathead, <clears throat> so it wasn't too bad, 15 minutes, slid all the way down, slide it down, I slid this up against the uh, Ground it when I pushed the o ring, so it rolled right off onto this black plug here. And then you know, you slide over here, and even getting over this flange wasn't too bad, just rolled it right over and rolled them three over and worked them off from here back. So uh, now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this uh, ultra black on here, and I'm not gonna get crazy with it. Everybody says get crazy with it on both sides of it. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna. Put it right here apply it all in this little area right here and uh because i think with the old rings i really don't think it's necessary so i'm just going to put it right here in this whole little area on all the sides and i'm going to seat it back in the hole and i'm going to let it dry for two days now uh you know of course that's however you want to do it but uh that's just my opinion i'm gonna give it a try and hopefully it works Alrighty. well i got it seated and you can see the sealant on there, RTV. I just did a little bit. Now, I gotta tell you, when I pushed this through there the other day, it went right in. I mean, it was like so so much play in this grommet here. And it was so easy to push through this whole cavity and pull the wire through. Now that I had the O-rings on there and I had to pull it back through, it was very tough to see. 
So I'm pretty sure that's going to do the trick. I mean, it took everything I had just to get this little flange and this little flare to pop back out. But I mean, it'll go. It's just you got to work at it. But now there's hardly any play right here, and there used to be all kinds of play. So <clears throat> just uh, take your time, be patient. And I'm, man, more than likely, I'm, yeah, you probably don't even need the RTV. But, you know, like I said, once again, it's up to you. I just use a little bit on there on the inside, and that's about it. Um, so we'll see if that holds. And uh, one thing, too, I wanted to show you is <clears throat> I bought this little uh, gasket kit, standard O ring set at uh, AutoZone. And the size that I used was this size here. 3 8 uh, I was able to use three of them and uh, they seem to fit pretty good. All right, back at it. So, ready to install the cover. Uh, got it all cleaned up best I can. Um, somebody said that they made it a little easier when they bought some extra bolts and cut the heads off of them to uh, help line the gasket up. So, about three bolts I got in here. I think they're M6. Uh, cut the heads off of them, clean them up a little bit to help me guide everything back on. There's a the gasket. Well, I guess it helps I put it on the right way. So I'm going to put this cover back on, hand tighten all of them, then I'm going to go back and tighten it to the specifications on this chart, and pop the pattern, kind of like the tire, go back and forth, <clears throat> and then uh, torque check everything, and then uh, I'll let you know how it went. Alright, here we are, got it back together yesterday, put the cover back on, Ran the wire back up underneath the panel, put the panel back on, torque checked everything, uh, put the shift linkage back on. I definitely Loctite that. Don't want that coming off. Loctite is optional on the uh, cover bolts. Totally up to you. Uh, took it for a spin, put about 200 miles on it, and no leak anywhere. Plus you're on the ground and I got nothing, no play, no nothing. So <clears throat> hopefully this holds up. Um, don't forget to put the master fuse in. I put my oil back in, checked everything, and I uh, took it out. Um, everywhere I went, I kept stopping and checking, and there was no leak. So pretty sure that's uh, going to do it for us. Um, I'd like to thank the people on the Facebook uh, B-Rod Owners page. A lot of helpful people on there. Uh, Christian, a detailed uh, description on how to do this repair. Uh, Jeff, also uh, a lot of uh, knowledge in uh, these, these bikes. So if you're uh, not part of the B-Rod Owners page, I'd definitely get in on it. Uh, any question you have, if guys, uh, there's a lot of knowledge on there on how to fix these kind of things. Also save you some money. I think this costs about $15 to repair this, uh, about maybe two hours in time. Um, but it's not bad, this bike's an 05 and this is the first repair I've had to do it do on it. So uh, it's been a great bike. So um, I hope this uh, helps somebody out. Um, I, was, I couldn't find any videos and so that's why I thought I might as well do it while I had the chance. So um, hopefully uh, this will help you guys out and um, enjoy. <laughs>